you know, I, I'm sure that you guys have heard me talking about the state being in a drought. That should be a cornfield right now. Um, that should be in the process of being harvested. Instead, they've had to pretty much raise it and uh, turn it into hay, into hay. Even though it's not really hay, the cotton seems to be doing okay. It's a little droopy though, but it might still be usable. The news was saying the other day that uh, if this keeps up for another uh, couple of weeks, and it looks like it's gonna go all the way through the end of August and into the, or all the way through the beginning of August, maybe even to the end of it. Um, if this keeps up, it will be the costliest drought ever to hit Texas. Now, I don't know how far back the records go, but I'm pretty sure it's uh, pretty deep into the 1800s. So the costliest drought in probably 200 years and uh, we're going through it right now. Good times, good stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and apologize for the uh, mostly straight roads. But when you're on this side of the uh, fault line, that's what you get, cornfields and flatness for the most part. There's a couple of rolling hills for the next 100 or so miles, but nothing big enough that's gonna, you know, cause them to reroute the road. Um, as far as where I've been, I, I touched on this a little bit um, uh, about two weeks ago now. Uh, obviously, I got the bike running again. But the regulator, uh, or well, actually the rectifier portion of the regulator rectifier burned out again. I think I fixed it wrong last time. Um, it, it wasn't happy, basically. Well, uh, I had I, it took me a couple of days to adjust from being on day schedule for a couple of days during the Ozarks trip back to night shift and then it took me another couple of days to make sure that the regulator rectifier was in fact a problem and then it took two fucking weeks for my regulator to come in I, I ordered all the parts that I needed on like a Wednesday right I had most of the parts that weekend not that it mattered I had to go to Houston but still uh I had most of the parts already, except for this stupid regulator took two freaking weeks. And I, it had to ship in from New Hampshire or New Jersey or some shit. And I, I don't really care where it came from. It still sucks. But I got that fixed. Well, in the process of dealing with all that, God, that exhaust is hot. In the process of dealing with all that, um, My computer took a shit, and I had already lined up uh, Windows R uh, Windows 7 RC1. I'd already downloaded it and was actually in the process of installing it when my hard drive dumped. So I was like, ah, no big deal. I'll pull the dead drive out. I've got an empty one, and I'll just load it onto the empty one. Well, my DVD RW drive needs a certain driver to run. Newsflash, it's not on the... Windows 7 installation uh, ISO file. So it, for whatever reason, wouldn't completely load. Although it worked well enough to say, hey, dude, I need a driver. I, I don't understand it, but whatever. Um, So I was like, okay, well, I'll remove that DVD drive and use my other DVD drive. And I put in the uh, ISO disk that I had and nothing happened. Well, not take that, well, no, literally nothing happened. Normally when you don't have an OS installed um, and you install without, or you, or you start the computer up without an installation disk or a boot disk, it says, please insert boot disk. I didn't even get that. <laughs> I didn't get shit. I'm like, damn it, it is not playing nice. Although I've got an idea. Um, I'm gonna take the drive to Houston with me this weekend. I have to go pick up my trailer. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go pick up the 
the trailer, but I'm going to take the drive with me and uh, cut in front of this big ass truck. Um, I'm going to try to get it installed at, using my mom's computer as the uh, the base system. This should work. It might take forever to day because your computer's 10 years old, slower than molasses, but whatever. Uh, so I haven't been able to edit anything. And it's like, okay, so just upload shit wrong. Well, my little SD card reader thingy that plugs into the USB port, I left it in Houston, which isn't normally a big deal. I called my mom and I said, look, I left my little black thingamajigger on your uh, end table in the living room. I need you to mail it to me. And she's like, oh, sure, no problem. She found it. She wants to take it to the post office and lost it. I have no idea where it's at. She doesn't know where it's at. She doesn't know when or where she lost it. She just knows she lost it. Okay, Mom. I'll go buy a new one. Of course, she told me she'd pay for it, which, you know, it's like 20 bucks. It's not that big of a deal. But, uh, so I'm going to go get a new SD card and a new reader thingy here in the next, uh, hour, a few minutes. Well, next couple of hours, really. Okay, next 20 minutes, whatever. Um, so that I can upload this. Well, actually, the two, by the time you see this, it'll all be fixed. Mostly. Uh, whoops, let's try to stay on the right road. As you may or may not know, uh, Deals Gap is coming up. If you've been following me for a while, then you know that every year I go, I uh, almost feel obliged to go, but at the same time, um, I want to, so it's all good. Uh, that, God, hello nurse. Uh, what was I saying? I'm leaving, uh, not this coming Sunday, but the following Sunday. I will be back the Monday after that. It will be a couple of days before I get any vids uh, edited and or uploaded. Mainly because there's gonna be a shitload of video from that trip. Uh, last year, I didn't really get to take a whole hell of a lot. This year, uh, that's gonna be a little bit different. We will see. I think I'm actually going to be riding with one of those. Well, not a girl, but uh, a big scooter thingy. Um, and it, just to reinforce my point on the track, um, I took the long way home. And I'm almost there. I am within a mile of my house. Good, taking my time, no less. So... Yeah, take that information as you will. Uh, as soon as I make the turn up here, you may or may not recognize Michelle Station. I'm going to turn this bitch off. Okay. Uh, yeah. That's just some news. I'll see y'all later.